Welcome to all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is uh, Let's Pray, our appointment with God, our moment set aside to seek the face of God. He say, you will seek me and you will find me if you will seek me with all your heart. Those who are diligent in seeking God tonight will see the glory of God. I want to welcome all of you from around the world in your different time zone. May my God manifest his goodness and his glory in your life. Quickly invite your family, your loved ones, those who are supposed to be praying with you right now. Let them come in haste. Let us come together and seek the face of God. Share this video. Let as many people in your Facebook page be part and parcel of this moment of prayer. If you can, please uh, call somebody, alert somebody, send uh, uh, a message to somebody on WhatsApp. Let somebody know that it is our time to pray. God is about to do something. If uh, we pray as a people of God, the Bible shows that God will answer. Our God is a prayer answering God. This moment of prayer, let's pray, is divinely appointed by God. And as I had said, I will want you to make it part and parcel of your own personal prayer. So in this moment, it's not about who is praying next to you or even me praying here. It should become your time, your divine appointment, your moment of intimacy with God. Let it build you. Let it draw you close to God. Through this moment, tap into the better part of God in the Holy Ghost. I know the Spirit of God began a good work and He will fulfill it. As we are getting ready to begin our moment of prayer, I want to let you watch one or two of the testimonies that uh, you have been sending. This will encourage you to keep on sending testimonies. And hearing this testimony and watching them will also encourage you to know that God who did one or two out there to your brother, your sister, will do the same for you. Remember, nothing in God is too small. Nothing in God is too big to celebrate. We celebrate God for everything. May you watch. Now, testimonies time with Pastor Elf Lukao. Our brother in the Lord, Edward, has received restoration in his entire life since he has joined Alleluia Ministries International and submitted under Pastor Alf Lokau. There are spiritual covers that have become a blanket for the deliverance, restoration, and blessing of your entire life. Edward's testimony is so rich, beloved, from receiving deliverance from demonic attacks to having a deeper yearning and understanding of the things of the Spirit to financial breakthrough. Glory be to God. I'm lost for words by this. Bonjour in my family. Je m'appelle Edward. I'm, I live in Canada, Toronto, Canada. Um, and here's my testimony. I just want to share it quickly. Since joining the, the AMI family in 2018, my prayer life, you know, became alive. I went from praying about 15 you know, minutes a, a week to about now I pray three hours on some days. And, uh, you know, God's brought my family closer together. And my mom, Mulu Guadu, She's been experiencing, you know, getting deliverance from witchcraft attacks and oppression. And uh, one day I walked home and I would see all kinds of like black shadows in, you know, like in the air, in the kitchen, in the kitchen area, in the living room. And um, she would always be very close to getting into an accident. And um, so thank God, the God of Afuka has been destroying all those, you know, evil powers attacking her and keeping her alive. Most importantly, I believe, you know, she wouldn't be here today without the God of Afuka. Um, and myself, I currently work at a job and I trade, I've been trading Forex for the past three years. And, uh, you know, for me, it wasn't being, it hasn't been going so well as I'd like it to be. Like some days I'll be very close to making money and I'll just feel pressure on my chest. And just, I would just sometimes even get confused when I'm looking at the charts and, uh, just wasn't going well. And, but the thing is, I have a testimony since the beginning of the year, 2020, during the 40 day fast, I made it in my mind to sow $5 or $10 after the service for every service, right? That's why I could afford at the moment. And uh, for the first time, after three years of trading for the first time, I, I was able to turn $35. I remember I turned it to 40, uh, made $40, meaning 70. So now with Jew, I took out 35 and I turned that $40 to 500. 
I've never was able to like grow, go into positive. Every time I deposited money, I would always lose it, right? So, but thank God. And I believe in that time, I even felt like something was helping me. It was totally different uh, while I was trading. So, uh, and so now talk about the Let's Pray services when I was connecting. So the man of God one time was saying that he, he was seeing and seeing visions of evil bats, you know, bats being their wings being destroyed. And like around seven days or more before that, I had a dream that was like a, a bat flying in my room and it had like a black shadow to confirm that, yes, like there was an evil bat in my life. So I connected to that, um, you know, that message. So praise God for that. Just this past Friday, I believe it's May 29th. So I remember after getting paid, I'm still working from home. So thank God. Uh, thank the God of Afukao. So I have my job. So I'm still getting paid and stuff. Um, so I remember I I got paid and I paid for other things. And then I, I had like $100 left in my bank account. And I was just like feeling a hundred bucks. You know, you can't really do what you want to do with that kind of money. So um, I remember I sold through PayPal. $70 and I said give this money to pastor Alf Lukao, right as a seed of provision for my man of God The Lord spoke to me and he said stagnation is over. I'm breaking the spirit of stagnation and that's why the man of God was even praying and I have been um, Reading pastors books that I got from after attending the IVP So since reading I've been remembering dreams and I could you know God's been speaking me to me through different things and through dreams and I had very vivid, vivid dreams that I remember after I wake up. So before I would just not remember my dreams and after reading a book and continuing to read, I'm starting to remember my dreams. It's very clear. I'm hearing the Lord very well. I just want to say thank you, uh, my pastor. Thank you, for, uh, Pastor Alf Lukau for what you're doing. And I want to say thank you, Bishop Celeste Lukau for being with our man of God. And uh, I want to say, you know, we love you. You're very beautiful inside and out. And my man of God, I want to say, may God continue to, you know, increase you and use you around the world and strengthen you. And um, thank you for everything you're doing, your hard work ethic, your discipline, your diligence. You know, you're, you're my mentor. So thank you. May your hunger for God be quenched as you connect to this grace. May your family be set free as you call on the Almighty God, the God of Aflukau. May your hands never run dry. There is an anointing in this place and it is yours for the taking. Beloved, the goodness of the Lord is so overwhelming. Stay tuned. Pastor Aflukau will be right back. Now, testimonies time with Pastor Elf Lukau. I lifted my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Buigangeho was suspected of having contracted the coronavirus. After being placed in an isolation ward in a hospital for five gruesome days, Buigangeho, who had been calling on the God of Aflukau, was mysteriously discharged. You have got to watch this testimony. My name is Ezekiel Titimena from South Africa in Johannesburg. I am the son of Pastor Aflukau. This is the greatest moment of my time uh, to testify the goodness of the Lord over my son, Wilkanya Holitimela. On the 8th of May, 2020, my son was not feeling well. I took him to the clinic where he was attended by the nurses, examined him, and confirmed that he was the suspect of coronavirus. He was immediately transferred to the Radong Hospital. I followed him to the hospital at Leratong. He was placed in Ward 19, where the suspect for coronavirus uh, were kept. On the fourth day, he was still in the hospital, and the fifth day, he was discharged miraculously. My name is Loriani Timela. I would like to thank the Lord for what he has done for my son. On the fourth day, I had a dream in 
that dream, I saw the word saying, your request has been approved. In that same night, I saw my boy kneeling down, saying, let the power of God cover me. The next day, it was the fifth day, I called him, telling him about the dream. Then I was so surprised during the day at lunchtime, Bikanyoho called me, telling me that he's been discharged. I was so very, very happy. My name is Bikanya Holitimera, and I am 15 years old. I'd like to thank the Lord for what he has done for me. On Tuesday, the doctor came and told this other patient that he was discharged. And I prayed even more, hoping to be told the same. But the doctor left without saying anything. The doctor knew that I was going to stay in the hospital probably more days. But then God came and took over. God changed the situation. I was always praying to the Lord, saying, Oh Lord, I need a miracle. They took blood for testing and the results came back negative. I was unbelievably told that I am going home. And immediately I said, Praise the Lord. The doctor was amazed by what I said and I realized that she did not know that I am prophetic. I'd like to thank the God of Africa. What happened to me was prophetic and, and unexpected. This happened on the fifth day and the fifth day is the day of grace. I want to thank the God of my father, God of Alf Lukau, for doing wonders for my family, doing wonderful things in my family, for he is God of yesterday, today, and forever. Victory is ours. God's hand will always be upon those who call on him. No sickness formed against you shall prosper. This was a most unusual testimony. Truly, the ways of our God aren't our ways. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on amitv.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau. Hallelujah. What a beautiful God we serve. Awesome, powerful, faithful, trustworthy. Those who look to him are radiant. Is good, is merciful. He has done it for one. He will surely do it for all. Are you ready to seek his face? Are you ready to pray? This is your time with him. I want you now, moving away from any form of distraction, open your heart as we are getting ready. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you awesome savior we give you glory lord of lord we bless your name we bless you because you are god by yourself tonight in this day we have come to worship you we have come to worship you lord in this time wherever we may be your grace is with us you are the most high god i am that i am the king of glory the one upon the throne with all his all power in his hand lord we have come to give you all honor jehovah jehovah shama the ever-present god jehovah sabaroth the lord of hosts the lord of the armies of heaven the commander in chief we have come to adore you. We have come to glorify you. We have come, O oh Lord, to bow before you and say you alone are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be praised. Your sons and your daughters from across the globe are now lifting your name on high. Men and women, O oh Lord, from all walks of life have come together in faith to wave to you and say, we adore you. Lord, we raise our voice today with the highest praise, O oh Lord, we say, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, receive adoration. Let everything that has breath praise your name. 
Mare Katoboboshia. We bless you, Jesus. Savior, we adore you. Savior, we have come to honor you. Savior, we have come to stand before you. In your presence, we stand. Oh, most high God. Yahweh. Zakoto Boshia. Your son is calling on you. Your daughter is calling on you. Lord, hear the cry of the voices, O oh Lord, raised before you. We have come to stand before you, O oh God, with a heart filled with joy, heart full of praise. We have come because, Lord, in gratitude we have said, no one could have brought us this far. It is by your grace and by your mercy that we stand today. That's why, O oh Lord, we cannot keep quiet. We cannot hold ourselves. We have come, O oh Lord, to say, be glorified. Be worshipped, O oh God. Be adored, O oh Yahweh. You are the first and you are the last. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. We have come, O oh Lord, to adore you. We have come to magnify you because there is no one like you. No one can do what you do. No one can say what you say. You are God by yourself. You say a word and it comes to pass because of your love, your kindness, and your faithfulness. Lord, you are hearing the cries of your sons. You are hearing the cries of your daughters tonight. We have come, O oh Lord. We say we will not keep quiet. Our faith expressing itself through, O oh Lord, the words articulated by us. God, we are saying, you are God. It is you and nobody else. You say, I am God, and beside me there is no other God. We adore you, Jehovah. We adore you. We adore you for salvation. We adore you for, for re restoration. We adore you for justification. We are justified today because of your grace, because of your mercy. We were lost yesterday, lost in sin. But Lord, your grace, your mercy has found us. You brought us back to light that's why lord we glorify you that's why papa we adore you your sons are adoring you your daughters have come we are celebrating god together don't keep quiet on him we are celebrating god speak to him he want to hear you don't keep quiet don't go tired on god speak to him he's a good god he's a merciful god he is your god and he's here for you Today, he will do something for you. As you come and draw close to God, something will manifest. It is always like this. Every time a man walks in the presence of God, such a man or a woman will never live empty-handed. God is blessing somebody. Worship him. Give him glory. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Remakotobo sete. You are free to speak to him in the best language you, 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 you choose. You may speak to him in Latin. You may speak to him in French. You may speak to him in Portuguese, in Spanish. You may speak to him in Hindi. You may speak to him in Mandarin. You may speak to him in Japanese. You may speak to him literally in any language that is suitable to you because God is here. He enjoys your presence. He enjoys to hear your praise. Bore bakata let everything that has prayed has breath praise the lord you are breathing praise him you are privileged to see another day praise him he is worthy makata roboshola yoko rababa sete he's the healer the great physician we have seen him heal yesterday and he's healing today Men and women are coming back with testimonies of the touch and the power of God. Men and women are saying, the Lord has touched me. The Lord has healed me. He turned my morning into dancing. I was down. But as we pray together in unity, in agreement, God showed mercy. 
they coming back with all kind of testimonies tumor disappeared cancer being healed hiv are being healed god has touched his sons and daughters you are next in the list of god i am speaking as an authorized month of god tonight is your night you are next in the list of god you've been praying with us you've been trusting god and now as you are praying i want you to understand that something is happening in the atmosphere it is called the power of god yahweh shama yahweh nisi adonai El Shaddai, El Elion, El Olam, El Gibor, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jaira, Jehovah Chikenu, Jehovah Roy, Jehovah Ra. Yahweh korobodi katuba baba sete yo mona mazeke tebe bebe many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord deliver him delivers him from them all it doesn't matter what where you're finding yourself right now god has a plan and i sense in the holy ghost that the plan of god is being made perfect in your life god is perfecting what he began to do his glory his power is all yours and today you are receiving that which god has destined for you if you open your heart tonight you're receiving it for you you're receiving it for your loved one you're receiving it for your father you're receiving it for your mother you're receiving it for your siblings you're receiving it for your children you're receiving it for your friends for your colleagues god is doing what only he can do because he is god the only true god seated upon the throne with all power in his hand jehovah my god is strong my god is mighty my god cannot be stopped my god does not have limits my God is the first and the last. My God has the last word in every situation that concerns man. My God rules over the affairs of man. My God loves you. My God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary like a mere man, shed his blood just to save you. And tonight, my God is touching you. My God is manifesting his goodness and his glory in your life the lord god of abraham isaac and jacob he is a covenant keeping god i call him my god the god of elijah who answers by fire he is my god the god of the bible he is my god and tonight is glorifying his name tonight he's showing himself strong and mighty keep on praying receive what god has for you god is giving somebody a breakthrough the enemy had about a wall to stop you from accessing what the lord had divinely set for you but i am speaking to my god concerning you i am praying to my god for your sake i am standing at a gap for you may that wall that the enemy had built to stop you from accessing what God has for you be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. May it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Never again will you cry the way you cried before. I say never again will you cry the way you cried before. The time of mourning is over. Who are you? You are a child of the living God who are you you are the one for whom jesus christ left heaven to come on earth who are you you are priceless before god fearfully and wonderfully made by god who are you you are the greatest investment god has on earth who are you you are a child of god and your name is written in the book of the lamb of god salvation is in you who are you? You are a sanctuary, a carrier of the presence of God. You see, you are not just anybody. 
You cannot fall like anybody. It doesn't matter what is happening to anybody. You are not anybody. It doesn't matter what the enemy is doing to anybody out there. You are not just anybody. You are the best that God has in this time. May the glory of God manifest. May the blessings of God be yours. I bless you with the blessings of God. I release the power of God in your life. I release the goodness of God in your life. Receive the abundance of the grace of God. Receive the abundance of the power of God. May the chains of the enemy tonight be destroyed. Your life is not exposed. You are not vulnerable to the attacks of Satan. The attacks of his acolyte. I decree, I declare. Whatever they had planned against you is destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. You are protected by the Most High God. You are saved in the hand of God. Whoever is uh, planning, thinking, orchestrating evil against you to see you down, may the fire of God destroy his plan in the name of Jesus. You are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. We are praying. I want you to keep on praying. I'm declaring the word of God over you. And I am filling your atmosphere with the presence of God, with the word of God. I am injecting the anointing of God in your surrounding. Something big is about to happen. Something great is about to happen. Receive the fire of God. Receive it all. It's all yours. Tonight is all yours in the name of Jesus. God is asking a man who served him yesterday and under the circumstances of your life today, you have not been really a serving God, servant of God, meaning you have not really been in the service of God as previously seen in your life. You are called by God to serve him. I see you are not in your country. You move to another country. And where you are in America, I'm not talking about the United States of America. I see you exactly in Canada. You were in Canada. You served God before. You had given God the best. You were active in God. But right now, there is something in you that is telling you, I wish I will have the opportunity to serve God the way I served God before. It is like uh, your life in God, in the service of the Almighty God, is uh, in slow motion. But God is saying, I'm opening a door for you. There is a new fire coming in your life. You will serve God even in your new environment in a way you have never anticipated before. God has it all worked out. The glory of God is coming. The desire to serve God, the urge to do more, the fire of God in you is burning again. God is opening a great door for you, for ministry. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I bless your life in Jesus' name. Marebe Kanta. Receive the glory of God. Speak to him. Receive the power of God. Receive it. God is a merciful God. He's a healing God. He is a restoring God. He loves you. Keep on speaking to him. Don't be distracted. Mare Soto. Keep on waiting on him. Merciful God. Keep on waiting on him. I am that I am. Yamamo Soto. Yebebekete. He is the one announced by the prophet that had to come. John the Baptist said, I baptize you in water to lead you to repentance. But there is one who's coming after me. He is greater than me. Whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and in fire. He was referring to the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He was referring to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Because of him you stand today. 
Your victory has its reason, its substance, and its essence in him. It is because of Jesus Christ that you stand today. The enemy had tried all the good, all the tricks in the old book, but it did not materialize because God is on your side. I am prophesying it over your life as you're praying. Don't keep quiet. Don't listen to me pray. No, allow your spirit to embrace what my mouth is declaring under the anointing of God while your soul before God He's calling on him. God is doing something in your life tonight. Mama Robo Zika Tebebe I see God breaking the yoke of the enemy over somebody's life. You have been feeling heaviness on your shoulder, heaviness in your life. You do not have energy physically in your body. You are feeling tired all the time. Life is becoming heavy. Everything is so heavy to carry. God is breaking the yoke of the enemy over your life. I speak prophetically in the name of Jesus and so shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. I had asked, do you know who you are? You're a child of God, a son of the living God. You are called to manifest for the creation awaits for the manifestation of the sons of God. The world is waiting for you and your heavenly father is preparing you. Your heavenly father, he is bestowing Doing in you what you need so you may arise in power and in strength. This world needs you. You are the tool God has set for an assignment. And through sickness and misery and uh, poverty and lack, Satan is trying to undermine the anointing of God in your life. By doing so, he's trying to boycott the mission that the Lord has set for you. I am here anointed by the living God and I'm looking at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, devil, your reign of terror is over. More Rebe Kanta, Rebe Kanta. Do you know what it means to be a child of God? You are not common. Satan understands the meaning of being a child of God far more than most of those who are children of God do. Satan fears you because he knows what it means to be a child of God. He is not a child of God. None of the angels are children of God. They are servants of God. You are not just a servant of God. You have God's DNA. You are changed and transformed in the nature of God. Divinity is in you. The Zoe life of God. He is what you have in you. Satan knows that the day you will understand by revelation your spiritual position, his reign of terror will stop. And I pray today that the eyes of your heart may open, that you may understand that you are not a spiritual beggar. You are not there begging, oh God, send an angel, anyone, oh Lord, help me, I am dying. I am here to say, you will not die before your time. The church is not called to be weak. As long as the church will be in its comfort zone, the church will be distracted. And the blessings that the Lord had already given the church will pass us by. Satan and his devils will feast over our ignorance. The time of a weak church is over. I say the time of a weak church is over. Time of a church that speaks and do not see is over. Time of those who gamble in the spiritual realm. Maybe it will happen. Maybe it is the will of God is over. God is raising an army of men and women who are warriors. From the time of John the Baptist till today, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violent take it by force. Because of many... The world does not know our God as 
the Almighty God. Because of the weakness of many of us, our faith has been so feeble that we have failed to manifest the glory of God. The rise of the prophetic voice concerns you. You are anointed in your time. You are anointed in your season. There is a special anointing for ministry. There is a special anointing for family. There is a special anointing for men and women established as apostles in the marketplace. That is anointing of business. I am speaking multiplication. Whatever your hand will find to do will multiply. Someone is watching me. Do you know why things are so tight when it comes to you? It's because the enemy is terrified by what you are called to be. Satan and his uh, army are terrified by what they see you have received from God. So they try their best to distract you with all kinds of difficulties out there. I am clearing your path. I am clearing the sky above you. I am clearing all that the enemy has thrown your way. You will manifest in this season. You will be everything that God called you to be in the name of Jesus. I say again, the time... For a week, church is over. The time for children called by God with eyes closed is over. That time when children of God, sons and daughters of God were blind, blind in the spirit, blind to see what the Lord has set for them to see in the invisible world is over. We are prophetic. We are apostolic. In this time, we are alert. We see. We see beyond what natural eyes can see. We hear beyond what natural ears can hear. Our hands are strong. We take hold of our miracles. And once we set ourselves to have it, nothing can stop us. We are literally unstoppable because he who is in us, he is greater than he who is in this world. Since nothing can stop your God, nothing can stop you. Since nothing can limit your God, you cannot be limited by man. Because your God is on your side. He has your back and he walks with you. I am seeing a daughter of God. Things have been very difficult. You have been suffering many diseases. I see you. Your name is Susan Brown. Susan Brown. The Lord is saying, Susan Brown, you are in Glasgow, in Scotland. I am seeing Glasgow in Scotland. Now, you, you've been suffering many things. You cannot work. You do not have a job. Thank God for your government. The government through uh, different programs and grants, the government supports you. You are currently supported by the government. But the issue that uh, you have right now pertains to your health. You have a liver problem. And uh, this is one of the many problems you have in your health, your liver is giving you problem. And they have said that you have an abnormal kidney. Your, uh, your kidneys are abnormal. Not only that your kidneys are abnormal, your uterus is a problem. So you have a liver problem, you have a kidney problem, you have uterus problem. You have been in and out seeing doctors. And the Lord is showing me that uh, the last time you went to see the doctor and the last x-ray, x-ray you have been through showed that uh, there is a liquid in your lungs. They have found liquid in your lungs and they also found that uh, you have an enlarged heart. Now you are tired, tired to go through all this. Your doctor has suggested that you may go through an operation so they may try to change the flow because they say that if things will go like this, they are afraid of a cardiac arrest. 
You are saying, Lord, heal me. Lord, heal me. I am standing here in Johannesburg. You are in Scotland. There is no spiritual distance between you and me. For right now, I am right there. And the Lord is healing you. I'm seeing him. The Lord is doing something that only he can do. Receive it, dear. Receive it by faith. Susan Brown, God loves you. For your sake, Jesus Christ died. And by his stripes, you are healed. I command sickness to go. You false devil, false spirit, the blood of Jesus is against you. You spirit of infirmity, in the name of Jesus, I destroy you, I command you out. In Jesus' name, Suzanne received the healing power of God. Be healed in Jesus' name. All of you are watching me right now. I want you to be praying. Tap into this anointing and tap into what God is doing. God is touching, is blessing, is redirecting the steps of his sons and daughters. God is healing men and women. God is answering the prayers and the cries of his sons and daughters. I am seeing a woman. You are seated by your bedside. You are dressed in your uh, uh, nightgown. Pinkish with flowers. Nightgown. You are watching me. And you are wondering whether it is you I'm speaking to. You are right here in Johannesburg CBD town. You are watching me. And you are saying, Lord, is it me? Because right now, just before I began to prophesy on the lady in Scotland, you say, Lord, remember me. Lord, speak to me. Lord, locate me. If it is really you, Lord, speak to me. I am speaking to you. You are seated by the bedside, by your bedside, in your bedroom. You are in your nightgown. Your night, your nighties, pinkish with flowers. The Lord is saying that you were born on the 21st of April, 1989. Your name is Dorothy Musa. Dorothy Musa. You used to be married to a man called Tembo. You were married from 2015 to 2018 and it did not carry on it did not work the two of you do not have a child in fact you have never fallen pregnant in your life you do not have a child but that is the least of your worry i see you used to work in a restaurant here in rivonia called deck deck restaurant in rivonia you are not working right now young lady the lord loves you so much he heard you you say lord look at me and he is now rescuing you you are in a relationship with a man called julius but this relationship is not a stable relationship it is literally what we say or we call friends for a reason you are there when you have to do what you need to do and you part ways friends with a benefit you have been trusting that maybe something will come out with uh, this in this relationship with uh, julius but uh, it has not been well i am not here focusing on julius but the lord is showing me something specific that uh, has that uh, is set to happen and god is saying that uh, we should prevent it because that will bring a disaster lately you've been speaking to somebody on social media a new relationship with a man called Richard. This man sent you a friend request. 
You went through his page and realized that, that he also has friends. You have mutual friends. You have accepted and that you began to talk. Talking from uh, 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 the social media platform moved you to share numbers. You've been speaking and he begged you, insisting that he want to come to visit you. You have been reluctant to allow him to your space because you have literally never met this man except what you see of him in social media. You have accepted finally yesterday that he should come to visit you in your apartment this Friday afternoon. Now God is saying I should tell you not only that you should stop him from coming Meaning cancel the appointment. And I want you to send him a message and say, I'm not comfortable to deal with you in any way whatsoever. The next thing that I want you to do, please listen to me. I don't know you. I am saying what God is saying. I want you to block this man. This man, he, he, this man will be a tool for disaster in your life. Mare the mere fact I can speak about you and I can speak about a relationship you've been entertaining, I do not know how many people out there know that uh, you have a Richard while you have a friend uh, with benefits, benefits. Your friend, you have Richard online and uh, you have a relationship with Julius. You used to be married to Tembo. The mere fact I can know this is because God loves you. The man who is said to come to your house on Friday is good to nothing. Not that he uh, is a useless man, no. I am saying this man will bring you trouble. You will regret for a long time opening your door to this man. Count yourself blessed to be connected to a man of God right now that can speak to you. Marobozikataba. Receive the blessings of God in Jesus' name and may God help you know that uh, this is wrong. Marebeshia Dorothy Moza. Your time of blessing has come. Now, this is what I'm seeing. Before the end of this month, you will be called for a job. And the call will come from your former boss, from the company or the restaurant you worked before. You worked for before before the end of this month of june mark my word a new door will open for you you will not need any help from any man anymore i can see your life i do not want to speak on the details of your life I do not need to speak on how you navigate to sustain yourself. But I am here telling you what God will do. When it comes to this man online, Richard, who has been insisting to come to visit, and you said, no, no, no. Yesterday you finally gave in and said, yes, you set an appointment for Friday. Not only that you should cancel that appointment, you should speak to him and say you're no longer comfortable to be in touch with him and please delete his number, block it. That man will bring you great regrets. But before the end of this month, if I of Lukau be a man of God, so shall it be. Your former boss will call you and will give you an opportunity no longer in the same restaurant but there is an opportunity that God is giving you it will help you financially you will be able to sustain yourself again and the day a new world will open new world of great possibilities God is doing it for you because he loves you receive it in the name of Jesus
Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every one of you receive the glory of God. Receive the goodness of God. Receive the blessings of God. Receive what only God can give. Receive what the Lord has for you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what you began to do. I know God, you will fulfill it. I know you will fulfill it because you are God. To you, God, all the glory. To you, God, all the praise. To you, God, all honor. I want you in the next 120 seconds, two minutes, I want you to just worship him. Worship him and thank him for all that he has done. In the next two minutes, 120 seconds, just give him glory. Thank him for who he is. Thank him for what he has done. He heard you. He answered. Mare Kataraya Baba. I thank you, Jesus. I bless you. I bless you for your power. I bless you for your glory. I bless you, O oh God. You began to do it, you will fulfill it. You are God all by yourself. None is like you. Mama sent it. Thank him. He's a merciful God. Thank him. He's a good God. Maye karabashea, mare katakorobosika, magorobosike tekeri arababasente. To you, God, all the glory, all honor, all praise, now and ever. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Ooh. I sense the glory of God over you and I know the Lord has done something new. Remain in the presence of God. Those of you who are going still through your day. Carry on the rest of your day being in the presence of God. Those of you who will be getting ready to go to bed. As you go to bed, God will open your eyes to see. God will speak to you, even through dreams and visions of the night. Those of you who were already in bed, had to wake up to pray and go back to bed, may the glory of God cover you. You have received the testimony tonight. You have received your healing tonight. Seize it. Confess it. Declare it. So shall it be in your life. I want to thank you for being faithful to God. And I want to thank you for the support you give us. Thank you for your financial support. Thank you for your word of encouragement. Thank you for aligning yourself with what God is doing through us. We are blessed and encouraged by you. You may not know to which extent. We are edified every time we have a response from you through your praise report, through your word of encouragement, through your gratitude by just sending a message to say, thank you, I am blessed. And more also through your financial support. May the Lord God I serve bless you, bless you, and bless you. In Jesus' name. Tomorrow we will continue with the teaching on the right attitude to have toward your prophecy from five to six get ready the lord will be speaking and the lord will build you on his mind on his will the revelation of the word of god will lead you to the next level tomorrow from 10 to 11 just like now we'll meet again for a moment of prayer until then afloka who loves you May the grace of God abound in your life. Shalom. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arf Lukau on all social media platforms at Arf Lukau.